All right, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some stories because one of the things that I think every single man needs to actually understand is the importance of never under any circumstances ever, and I mean ever, tell a woman that you are dating anything regarding your past. Now, this is so important. Like, seriously, this is so important that you watch this entire video. Like, I even made a note in my cell phone exactly how I want this to come across and how I want this worded so that way you take this to heart because I'm going to be explaining all of the circumstances why this is so critically important to your dating success. I wrote down never let a woman know about your past because it is often made up of scars and now she knows that you were not born this way. When women look at a man she is constantly screening to see if he is a complete man and if he is oftentimes made up of strength characteristics, meaning what he claims he is and what he says he is, is actually true, which means women never want to see the past. Women only want to see a finished product. What I'm going to be showing you today in this video is why the more she knows about you, oftentimes this will be used against you in virtually every single relationship that you will ever be in. And on top of that, when things go south, or if and when that woman starts to pull away from you, this best friend that you thought you had, this trusted ally, right? This trusted individual that you thought would constantly have your back and be there for you, everything that you say can and will be used against you. And what you must know is that this process step-by-step step, that I usually go through when I'm dating a woman or when I'm interacting with a woman, is going to be 100% true and it's going to be 100% battle tested because I live by this code and this is stuff that I use currently in my day-to-day -day relationships. Okay, let's take this all the way back, okay? I'm going to bring this all the way back to 17 or 18-year-old Casey when I first finally started dating women. Here's what I can tell you. Men are made through two, th two circumstances. The first circumstance is going to be hardship, trials, tribulations, battle wounds, and scars. That's the first. But the second way that a man is made and is especially self-made is through time. I will tell you this. Every year I am alive, I personally feel stronger internally and I feel wiser and wiser with each year. Okay. So if I feel stronger and stronger and wiser and wiser with each year, what that means is with age comes wisdom. So what that translates into is that translates into every single year that I'm alive, I feel better, more congruent, more masculine. I have better direction in life and I'm more self-stable and self-secure. This in and of itself is why women will prefer older men. So here's what I can tell you. Every year that you are alive, you need to make sure that you're constantly sharpening your mental skills, constantly sharpening your wisdom. And you got to realize this, if you're getting older, but your attitude stays the same as if you were in your youth, when women see age in a man, they expect maturity. Okay, when women see age in a man, they expect that you have life direction. When women see age in a man, they expect that you know where you're going and that you have a plan. There's got to be a certain way that you carry yourself, a way that you handle work. There's got to be a certain way that when she comes into your life, she starts to actually see that you have a grasp on things and the direction that you're headed because that to a woman is going to equal safety. Now, here's where both these go hand in hand. The battle wounds and the scars. I don't care if it is trauma from failures in your career. I don't care if it's trauma from getting heartbroken. I don't care if it's trauma from getting cheated on. Every battle wound and every single scar that you go through in your youth, and youth could be at any age, I'm talking in, in the past in general, that right there needs to sharpen and shape your wisdom so you do not continuously make the same mistakes because I'm going to tell you this, masculine personality and congruence and wisdom is made. So those of you where you're like, well, you know, uh, you're born how you're born and that's that. That is not, not totally true. Your personality can shift and adapt the smarter, the more intelligent, the more wiser, the more masculine you get. So keep that in mind. And here's how this is going to actually tie into why everything that you tell a woman or say to a woman regarding your past or regarding your mistakes or regarding any sort of vulnerability can and will be used against you. I'm going to explain very shortly, but this is what you have to know. There's got to be two things that happen in life. The first thing that you got to know as a man is you need to experience hardship and emotional pain. You need to go through tons of suffering and tons of emotional pain, or you're not going to have a lot of life experience. You're going to crumble. Okay. Step one, that pain needs to sharpen you. So you have wisdom that right there, that perfect combination, the two types I just described, the pain, the hardship, the scars 
coupled with the wisdom and day-to-day -day maturity. This is why patience is important and actually becoming a self developed or a self-secure man when that goes hand in hand you now have a recipe for masculinity you now have a recipe for masculine energy you can start to go somewhere and as you're getting older i'm telling you this women want to see a secure stable mature man this will all make sense in just a second this is perfect every girl i have ever dated and the reason why i'm telling you this topic is because a girl that i've been seeing for a couple months she started asking these exact questions saturday night I've been seeing her for a couple months. She hardly knows anything about me. And what I can tell you is this. You can have intimacy. You can have chemistry. Guys, you got to understand this. You can even sleep with a woman without her hardly knowing anything about your personal life. Because what you have to know is the reason why a woman starts to emotionally invest and engage in you in the first place is because she likes your vibe. She likes your masculine energy. And she likes the way that you carry yourself. Here's what you have to understand though. I started to get the exact same questions that you're going to get. I'm laying there in bed with her. We're watching a movie and she goes, I want to know more about you. I want to know how you got to where you are. I want to know what you think. What are you going through? Right? Sometimes if I have a lot going on with work or if I have a lot going on in my mind, I'm silent from time to time. Or sometimes one of the things that I struggle with is being present completely. See, the reason why I teach you guys how to be present and how to get one-to-one -one connected with a woman is because all of the shit that I talk about on this channel and on these videos, I have went through personally. So I'm laying there and women have like a, women have like a, a, a different sense, right? They're like, their spidey senses start tingling and they know if you're thinking about something. Like women can just feel the energy. Women are great at this. So she goes, what are you thinking about? What are you going through? What are you... And she wants to start knowing all this stuff. She wants to start knowing all this stuff about my past. And for two seconds, I started answering the questions logically, right? I started talking about my past and where I come. And instantly I shut, I shut up. I like, I, I changed the subject and I stopped because what you have to know is that any amount of vulnerability can and will be used against you because women are constantly optimizing hypergamy for the strongest man that they can obtain. What you have to know is if you trust a woman's words, she will lead you astray without even realizing it. She is not doing this on purpose. This is all subconscious. And what happens is the more you reveal about yourself, the less of a mystery you are. The less of a mystery you are, the more she feels as if she has you figured out now in truth she might not actually have you figured out but the second that she feels as if she does it is already a novel it is already a movie script that she either read cover to cover page by page and it's over or she watched the movie in full and she's on to the next cinema she's on to the next movie she's on to the next novel she's on to the next book here's what i can tell you now this is important for you to understand and to realize because just like you i have had to do the two things i have had to learn from my mistakes and my scars and my failed relationships i've had to learn from all of the mistakes in my past in my youth in my adolescence that made me who I am today. So now when a woman comes into my life, when a woman sees me, when a woman sees me on a date and she sees, hmm, he's mature or hmm, he has masculine frame or he seems stable or he has direction. All of these things are only shaped if you have the competency to learn from your past mistakes in your youth, in your adolescent, and that can come at any age. That specifically is why you can find a man who is self-made and became a man by 22 years old if he's been through enough hardship, heartbreak, trauma, sacrifice, battle wounds, and scars. And you also find a 65-year-old overgrown boy who never actually learned from all of the past failures and started to put two and two together to actually make himself into who he needs to be. Here's what I'm getting at. A couple of years ago, I was in a relationship and the girl that I was dating, I remember specifically, okay, I remember specifically, she would say things as best she could to be nurturing, right? So she would say things like, Honey, if you're having a bad day with work or if you're under a lot of work stress, let me know because I want to be there for you. I want to be here for you. I want to make sure that everything's good, right? I'm your best friend. I'm your I'm your uh, life partner. Whatever the, the women want to say it when they're trying to make sure that they have good dynamic with the guy. Naturally, as I was dating this woman for an extended period of time, and you're not necessarily thinking about, is this masculine? I am I in frame? Do I have the right sort of energy? Is this dynamic smooth? What would happen is I would just communicate as a normal person on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So if shit hits the fan over here, I talk about it. Shit hits the fan over here, I talk about it. Going through this, yeah, how was your day? How was your day? And you know what happens slowly but surely? 
What the woman would request is she requests this. She's going to request you to be more emotionally open. That's number one. The second thing is she's going to request that you are more vulnerable with her so that way she gets an insight into your life and she knows what you're feeling. And number three, the women that you're dating are going to constantly be asking if there's anything that they can do for you to help make your life easier. The second that you do this one thing, the second that you open up, the second that you let your stress or you show your emotional thought process that is happening if you're having stress that day, Anything like that can and will be used against you. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. She can't help it. What would slowly happen is you watch that woman trust your judgment less and less. You're going to slowly watch that woman close off intimacy and emo- emotional um, you know, uh, gravitational pull towards you. You're going to watch her lose respect for you. You're going to watch her fall out of love from you and with you. And then what's going to happen is you're going to watch that woman slowly sexually desire a different man. What I can tell you is this, the only way that you maintain actual frame in a relationship is who she sees you are day one is who you need to actually stay and to maintain. The reason being is because women love a man with a sense of mystery. The more she has to figure out, the more she's going to sit there and wonder, why is he this way? Why does he operate this way? When you start to do this properly, you're going to watch. I've had women, they come into uh, my house after a date, or maybe we're sitting on the couch eating ice cream, and they say, I want to see your closet. What, what type of clothes do you wear? What, what's in this drawer? What's in that drawer? And they start to wonder. They want to wonder about you. They, they want, it's like, a, it's like a puzzle they need to solve. But here's the quote that I live by after having failed relationships, after having failures, after having women pull away in my youth and I have no idea why, after having shit fizzle out with a girl and you're sitting there wondering what just happened. Here's what I can tell you. The quote that I live by that I will always live by is the hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. Say that with me one more time. The hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. If you have chemistry right away with a woman where there's a lot of intimacy, there's a good connection, maybe you guys are sleeping together, maybe it seems like everything is great, right? The flame is hot. The hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. Those are the interactions and the relationships that fizzle out the fastest. What you have to do is you have to tell yourself, hey, And this is especially true if you really like the girl. If you really like the girl, you tell yourself, hey, if I had to make myself into a 10-year novel, right, a 10-year book that she had to read, a 10-year series, how slowly would I uncover myself page by page? Maybe I'd let two or three days go by with text messages and I wouldn't say anything. Maybe I would wait one or two weeks to see her again. If I really like this girl, how could I make sure that this is a movie that she never wants to finish? Because I'm going to tell you this about women. The second that they finish the movie is the second they want to watch the next. And that next movie, what I can tell you, this is going to be painful. That next movie is a new man. And that new man, when she now wants to experience what that movie's like, is going to piss you off. It's going to make you feel shitty about yourself. And it's going to make you sit there and question your own masculinity. And it's going to sit there and make you wonder if there is something that you could have done to make sure that she does not fall out of love with you. The hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. So your takeaway from this, you need scars. You need to know what it's like to be heartbroken. You need to know what it's like to have a trauma with your career, your professional life. You need to know what it's like to have sleepless nights. Then you need to learn how to never expose any of that to a woman that you're dating because the second you do it, it can and it will be used against you. Then what happens is she's going to go and tell all of her friends that you're weak. She's going to go and tell all of her friends that she falls out of love with you. And then you know what's going to happen? The friends or the other people, women talk, right? And one woman tells two and two tell four and four tell eight and eight tell 16. And then pretty soon people start to get a preconceived notion of you that you are not how they thought you were. Anytime you expose any sort of emotional vulnerability or weakness to a woman, it can and it will be used against you. And it's made to be used against you because you fell for the trap. You failed the test. You failed the test of that relationship. What you have to do is you have to take that trauma. You have to take that pain. And you understand that that is for you and your own wisdom to build yourself into who you need to be in the future. And then you do not expose that to the next woman that you date. Instead, you keep yourself a mystery. You let her slowly discover you over months and months and months. And even then, you make sure that you put a throttle and a limit on how much you're actually willing to open up and share and to expose. The life that she's coming into of a self-made man or of a man who actually has maturity, that is the life and the perception of you that she wants to keep. Because with women, perception is reality. And the second that that shifts is the second that you're in for a rude awakening. So to conclude this, because I am very, very, um, let's just say particular, right? 
The way I titled this is important, and the way I came out swinging with this first sentence is important. Never let a woman know about your past. It is often made up of scars, and now she knows that you were not born this way. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.